McLuhan's genius was to focus on the medium itself. He argued that throughout history, what has been communicated has been less important than the particular medium for which people communicate. Okay, you might say, I can follow this point, but why did McLuhan think that? According to McLuhan, technologies that transfer messages change us and change society. Take the shift from oral cultures to print-based ones, for example. McLuhan noted that in earlier oral cultures, where speech was everything, the dominant sense organ was the ear. However, with the introduction of the printed word, this then changed to an emphasis on the visual. After the four centuries where print was dominant, electronic media shifted the emphasis from the visual to a different balance of the five primary senses. Electronic media unified people and encouraged participation, though perhaps at the expense of greater conformity. As a result, we saw the beginning of what McLuhan called a global village. Today, in the 21st century, with hot debates over the nature and the effects of mobile phones and digital communications, where most of humanity is wired up and online, McLuhan is very much in the center of the screen again nearly four decades after his death. This time, however, as the first seer of cyberspace. The question is, how is today's digital media changing us?